if any of you have studied any Eastern philosophies like the Buddha, you know, the Buddha talked about emptying the mind. There's a great focus on, on that. And even with, with Advaita Vedanta, Ramana Maharshi, a lot of fantastic non-dual pathways are all saying empty your mind. Empty your mind of the contents of consciousness. There's not really like some kind of positive goal that's in the world. You don't see Buddhists, they've shaved their heads, they've got their orange robes on and they're not waiting like to hit the lottery or something to go, ah, I'm almost there. As if, if it's like some outcome in the world will show favor, like, like things are going well, like you're close. <laughs> you hit the jackpot or something like that. And I think the Course is really pretty much the same way. That's why we say, Thy will be done, God's will be done. It's, I, I would say it's not only the safest prayer, but it's just only the prayer. It's the only prayer there is, ultimately. But we have to gain confidence in it. We have to gain trust in it. We have to feel the miraculous experiences of that state of mind. Maybe even glimmers of that state of mind to go, hmm, okay, thy will be done, God's will be done. You know, we, we need something to say, I'm going to keep coming that's not necessarily an outcome in the world. And so this is where I would say the Course takes us beyond, I call it sometimes the magic of manifesting. Not that there's anything wrong with it, because if you feel very deprived and lacking, and you need some symbols along the way to show how powerful your mind is, that's good, that could be very helpful, but it's still preliminary. It's not, it's not like where it's all heading. The where it's heading is that we have everything, we are everything, we've always been everything, and, and there's a deep resonance with, with that. <laughs>